Hi, I'm Lindsay Bugby from The Postman's Knock, and today I'm going to show you how to make this magical guitar-themed birthday card. You'll want to begin by cutting out the guitar template that I have provided for free for you on the TPK website. You can find the link to download that template in this video description. Now use a white pencil to trace around that template on a brown piece of cardstock. Then use a sharp pair of scissors to cut out the guitar. Now take out your white mechanical pencil and use it to draw the pencil draft of both the greeting that you want to include on the guitar and the flourishes. So you can see I've got my slant lines here that help me to write happy birthday in a nice, elegant, consistent fashion. And I am embellishing the guitar with flourishes and that celebrate there on the guitar neck. And then I've got some stars right there, just some sparkles to add to that magical effect. Once you've got your pencil draft, you'll want to add ink to it. So I'm showing you this process in real time here for just a bit so you can see how slow you need to go here. You just need to be nice and consistent and relaxed. Be sure to use a medium flex nib like the Nico G for this step because you see how small that happy birthday calligraphy is and that celebrate calligraphy is. You don't want to have really thick downstrokes. So we want to make sure that even our downstroke lines are not too thick. Now I'm using Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink because it shows up really nicely on darker papers, but you could use a gouache, you could use a fine tech metallic, just whatever you're feeling. And go around the guitar the best way that you know how in order to keep your hand from smudging any wet ink. I'm using an oblique calligraphy pen because I find that that really helps me to keep my hand out of the way. And you can see I'm just trying to hold on to the guitar where that ink is nice and dry. And then going on in and adding little stars and dots to fill in the negative space. And now we need to prep a paper base for that guitar to rest on. So I am using a piece of handmade white cotton paper from Indian Cotton Paper Company. And you can see that I've used walnut ink to draw starbursts on it with the help of a ruler. And then of course, after you finish that, you need to erase any pencil lines. Now I just learned this fun technique from Nico Ng. Basically, you take a nice fat blob of paint, put it down, and then you're going to use your finger to smudge it. I didn't get a nice big blob there, so for subsequent blobs, I'm trying to go bigger and bigger so my smudge will go further and further. But the idea is to have that nice metallic middle that follows the, the path of those starbursts there. So you can do that with any metallic ink that you like. I just thought the green was nice and elegant and would complement the brown of the guitar. This card will have a 3D component to it because the guitar is going to be offset on the front. So right now is the easiest time to write a birthday message on the back of the card. So go ahead and do that. You can see that I used a mix of calligraphy and just a regular pen, and then go ahead and erase any pencil guidelines that you used. Once you've written your greeting, go ahead and erase any pencil guidelines on the front of that guitar using a black eraser, and then place the guitar on the card to make sure that everything looks good and you can come up with a placement that you're satisfied with. And now affix pop dots all over the back of that guitar so we can achieve a nice 3D effect. Basically, these are little rounds of styrofoam that are about 1 16th inch thick, and those will help the guitar to slightly be offset on the front of that card. Now use the pop dots to affix the guitar to the middle of the card and the result will be a unique magical guitar themed birthday card that is sure to thrill any musically inclined recipient. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.